Okay, so hi everybody, I'm Eric Johnson. I'm not really a principal strategic advisor, but I'll take that for now. Um, so yes, I just got promoted, that's great. Um, so what I want to talk to you a little bit about, uh, just quickly five minutes, uh, some of the things that Google does as far as big data. Um, so obviously, like our mission is to make sure that uh, you've got access to information all over the planet, right? So kind of going in hand in hand with that is how many people here know that Google has like a copy of the entire internet? <laughs> Okay, there's four people. How many know that there, uh, we actually have like two copies of the internet? <laughs> okay, a couple of people are now. All right, so we obviously have a lot of data, um, and we've been doing this basically for, uh, I'd say about 18 years now, right? We just had a birthday, I guess, yesterday or the day before. Um, so what does Google know about big data, right? So back in 2012, when we were still, you know, indexing the internet and everything, um, the index itself of the internet was roughly 50 petabytes in size. Um, when we would go through an index and sort all of that, it would take roughly 23 hours to do that. Um, moving forward, though, right, in 2015, uh, how many of people have heard of, like, gray sort, uh, sorting requirements, right? There's minute sort, gray sort. Uh, so in 2015, uh, the winner of that was um, basically announced the data set that we've indexed back in 2012 is roughly 500 times larger uh, than what was uh, achieved in 2015. And we were able to do that twice as fast as well, right? So Google's obviously used to dealing with like very, very large data sets. Um, so where does that go? Oh, sorry, I went back. So that was obviously 2012. We've moved things along quite a bit since then. Um, so we're still iterating on that. So what does that have to do kind of where we're at right now? Um, you can see here kind of a timeline of some of the things that we've been doing. So as we publish papers on GFS and MapReduce, um, whole e open source ecosystem is built up out of that, right? There were a lot of people that were like, oh, this looks pretty cool. I want to build like a, you know, a MapReduce system, batch data processing, um, and spawned a lot of great stuff. Um, However, uh, as Google has been working on building out cloud, right, and offering that as services, we started to release uh, our own products as well based on these same technologies. Uh, so now you can use things like the real big table, right, and we've exposed that through an HBase API. Um, a BigQuery is a streaming data processing system that's, you know, sorts pet petabytes of data sub-second. Uh, so still taking advantage of a lot of the innovations that Google has made beyond 2012 now are exposed as Google Cloud Services for you. Um, so what do you do about big, you know, processing your own big data, right? So a lot of things, this obviously isn't to scale, uh, but there's a lot of stuff that goes into that, right? If you're going to run a Hadoop cluster or something locally, uh, there's a lot of infrastructure you have to set up, monitoring, alerting, capacity planning, f performance tuning, a lot of things go into that, right? So that you can basically focus on the analysis. But ultimately, what you really want to do is just deal with, you know, the analysis. You don't want to have to deal with all those other headaches. So this is where Google Cloud comes in. Um, we've got, uh, so for those of you that don't know, Google Cloud Platform is an umbrella term. Tons and tons of services available to you spanning both for, you know, compute, storage, networking, um, but big data obviously is what we're here to talk about. Uh, we've got a lot of services there. I mentioned a few, BigQuery, the Dataflow, Dataproc, all of these things are available to you uh, as a Google Cloud Platform customer. But uh, what does that really have to do with Cloud Foundry? Uh, so earlier today, was anybody happen to be at the Google uh, talk earlier today, by chance? Great, quite a few. So a uh, colleague of mine, Colleen Bryant, uh, open sourced uh, our first service broker for Google Cloud Services, and that gives you access immediately to some of the services that we have available, which are these. Um, so now, as a Cloud Foundry developer, you can bull in the service broker and have access, your apps can have access to BigQuery. So a lot of the things, uh, Google Cloud Storage, Google PubSub, a lot of these things that we've been using internally now are available to you as a Cloud Foundry user uh, through the service broker. So, and that's really all I have. So thank you very much for your time.